19-year-old being held on first-degree murder charges appears in court today, and it is the first hearing in the Kaya Campbell murder case. Liz Gillardi joins us live tonight in Thornton, where she's learning more about the suspect. Liz? And neighbors tell me the 15 year old lived down this street with Kaya's dad and his mom, and they say the family mostly kept themselves. As you can see tonight, everyone in the community, they're continuing to remember 10 year old Kaya, but they want justice. I went down and I kind of told her, you know, she could um, rest in peace that they found a person. And, uh, you know, it was such a good feeling. At the spot where Kaya Campbell's body was found, Any neighbors try to find peace. Everybody in the neighborhood, I, I mean, when we heard it, everybody was relieved, especially all the families with the children. Relief, but a persistent sadness, knowing a 10-year-old is dead and a 15-year-old arrested. He appeared in court during a closed hearing to decide where the suspect should be held jail or juvie. Family members gathered in the hallway. One man with the Bible said this. Jesus. As they entered the courtroom, the district attorney will have a say about whether or not to try him as an adult. Well, it's something that we would look at at any juvenile case to see if they're eligible for adult court. Uh, and certainly that's something we would do on a case by case basis. It's a question people in the community are struggling with. I'm kind of mixed you know i don't know um i would have to talk to my minister to kind of kind of uh, work this one out because the suspect is a minor everyone remains tight-lipped police have not said how kaya was killed and the coroner did not release a cause of death it's a case that continues to bring everyone together hoping most of all for justice and as of tonight, we still do not know where the suspect is being held. He is supposed to be in court again on Wednesday. The district attorney was explaining the process to potentially try someone as an adult is a little different, especially when that person is under 16 years old. And that's why if he wants to do that, he has to submit that request. Reporting live, Liz Gillardi.